All right, my friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a likes campaign using the new September 2022 Facebook protocol. They made some updates to their back office. So I'm going to show you how to use their new ads manager back office to create a likes campaign. Select create. And in this instance, you are going to, I'm going to scroll down so you can see it. So under awareness, you see reach, brand awareness, video views, store locations. Under traffic, you see link clicks, landing page views, messenger and WhatsApp and calls. Engagement is where you're going to see video views, post engagement, and conversions. And if you read underneath engagement, it says get more messages, video views, post engagement, page likes, or event responses. We are going to go with engagement for our likes campaign and select continue. And I'm going to call this September likes campaign demo. You don't need to select any categories. You don't need to use that. Nothing for buying type. Engagement will stay the same. You don't need to see more options. You do want to turn off campaign budget optimization and select next. And I like to date my likes. So I'm going to give this a date of today. And I'm going to put my target audience in there. So for this audience, I'm going to target, say, e-com. All right, it's not a message apps. We don't want people to go to websites. We don't want them to watch a video. We just want people to engage with our Facebook page. So we're going to select that one. That is my Facebook business page. You can do a likes campaign relatively cheap, say $5 a day. You can even do $2 a day if you wanted to. You can start this whenever. My OCD will not allow me to start an ad on an off time like 11.59. So I'm going to say 12 p.m. because that is what works for my OCD. All right, so now um, you can put your audience in here. So let's say that I'm creating a new audience. I'm not going to do a saved audience. But in this audience, this is where you want to put the people that you want on your page. Facebook is only going to show your page to the top 20% of engaged people. So let's make sure it's the people who are your ideal client customers and business partners. So I thought this was going to be my e-com audience. So I'm not going to pick my saved audience. I'm going to start it from scratch so you can see how I do it. And I am an online business, so I'm going to pick the top five English-speaking countries. And the last one is Australia. All right, so I got my top five English-speaking countries for my audience. My audience is 35 to 64. Your audience may be something different depending on the products that you serve or the products you have and the people you serve. All genders for languages, I'm gonna pick English. All. All right, so detail targeting. This is where you get to find the people that, again, are your ideal clients, customer, business partners. You want the people that like your business page to be people who may do business with you. So I'm going to put in e-commerce. And I want interest. See, there's school. You see how this one says job title. I'm not interested in job titles or employers. Depending on your office, you might be. So I'm going to select e-commerce. And then I'm going to ask Facebook to give me some suggestions based upon my initial one. So there's WooCommerce. Um, again, I'm not looking for digital marketing. I'm not looking for e-commerce payment system. I think, let's see, WordPress. WordPress is a um, website, not necessarily e-commerce. I know that Wix is one. And MailChimp. No, I don't want to use MailChimp. So I'm going to stick with, and Wix is also a landing page builder, so I'm going to take that out. So I'm going to stick with these two, e-commerce and WooCommerce for this audience. 
and I've got English in there, placements. We're going to stick with Advantage Plus placements. Nothing else to do here, nothing else to see. As you can see, I'm optimizing for page likes, and I like my, this is my campaign, campaign, ad set, ad set. That's where you set up the ad, and then this is the ad. And I like my ad set and my ad to have the same name. And I guess I could spell ecom right, huh? All right. And I'm going to copy this and take it over to my ad. And I'm going to drop it in there. So now everything has the same name. It's got my page in there. So when you do your likes campaign, you want to pick a something with a yellow background, black writing, five to six words. And you want it to be a positive statement that somebody will agree with. So I should have something in Canva for this. And I might have to search a little bit to find it, but I should have something in here. So this is one that I started. So let me finish this up. Success happens. And opportunity meets preparation. All right, let's get this centered on the page. Centered horizontally and vertically. There we go. All right, and I'm going to download this. Head back over to my ads manager. I'm going to add media. Upload. Done. And your size of your image on your likes campaign should be 1080 by 1080. In the event that your size is not 1080 by 1080, well, let me show you in Canva first. In Canva, see this says Instagram post. I'm going to scroll back up to the top. Sorry, I forget you vertigo. Under the Canva templates, if you choose Instagram square, you're going to get 1080 by 1080. If you select this... You're going to get a blank template that's already sized right. You're just going to make the background color yellow. If that's not yellow enough for you, click the plus sign, slide this little doohickey over a little bit, and there's your bright yellow. So that's how you do that for Canva. In the event you have something and it's not the right size, my favorite tool is the Simple Image Resizer. All you got to do is pick an image. I'm going to pick one I need to resize anyway. You're going to put dimensions and 1080 by 1080 resize. Download. And now you've got your image sized right. See how it says 1080, 1080 at the end? Since I'm using this for something else, I'm just going to name it that. But that's how you use the simple image resizer to get the 1080 by 1080. And then all you're going to put in text. Um, um, like this page, or say please, people like the word please, please press like to like this page if you agree. All right, and there it is. That's all you got in there. So let me click out of here. There it is at the top. Press like to like this page if you agree. It's my name because it's my page. I help business owners and entrepreneurs. That's just whatever you put on the about of your page. And you are all set. This is your likes campaign. All you need to do is go back to the campaign level. Oh, they don't let you publish at the campaign level. So click next, next, and then publish. And this will publish your entire likes campaign. I'll go ahead and publish just so you can see what it looks like, even though I don't need this. So see how it's publishing one of three? It's publishing my campaign, my ad set, and my ad all in one fell swoop. And if I head back to my ads manager, here is my page likes campaign going to an e-com audience. And that, my friends, is how you do a likes campaign using the new Facebook protocol. All righty. Good luck with your ads. Have a great day.